one baby food that you have to add is Hi guys, my name is Lola, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about bikini. Raise your hand if you're like me and you find any excuses to buy more bathing suits. Yes, there's my dog right here. She's not supposed to be upstairs, she's not allowed. Honestly, sometimes she's allowed, it's kind of weird. <laughs> we are not going to tell my parents that she's here, okay? It's between you and me. Now you're screaming all your thoughts and now you're right back at you. So I've already dedicated an entire video to my bathing suit collection. If you want to watch it, it's in the description. It's in a little thing up. I don't know which side. But yeah, I did this. Been there, done that. Now, what we are going to talk about is every single kind... <laughs> Hi, hello. Every single kind of bathing suit that you need. I mean, it's completely okay if you have only one, okay? I just want to put it out there. I know I'm freaking privileged and you probably are if you're watching this. Yeah, I already know this. I know that it's not something important or anything. I just wanted to talk about different types of bikinis in different situations. So let's get started. The first one is a kind of bathing suit or bikini that you feel comfortable in and that you know you're going to be able to do some activities in. So maybe you're gonna go on a hike in your bathing suit, maybe you're gonna play in the sand, I don't know, just a bathing suit that you know, one of your little booby is not gonna pop out or your booty is covered and you're not gonna just show one chic or your complete booty to the entire world. I think we all get it because we all have different old bathing suits that we still like but are more a bit PG-13, PG-8 actually for mine, <laughs> but yeah, for me, one that I'm comfortable in doing activities, I like this type of triangles top, I really do like them because, yeah you like them too, <laughs> because I have small boobies, but at the end of the day, this type of top just easily fall off, so I think thought that if I had to do something, I would just probably take this top with me because you're covered, you're not gonna have a side booby because actually it's completely covered and I know I look very ridiculous putting a bathing suit on top of me but there's all creepy men on the internet that take advantage of girls doing videos for girls, yay! <laughs> and on the bottom, the bottom are not cheeky at all, that's the booty part, that's the front part. I, I trust this bathing suit, okay? You need one bathing suit that you trust. For me, it's that one. <laughs> then you need a bathing suit which is completely perfect for tanning. So, first of all, you want the smallest beginning possible in order to have the most perfect tan. And for me, if I'm gonna be tanning, I'd rather have, yeah, that type of top because I find it kind of impossible to find a smaller top than that actually because it's um, in one material it's not something like that that I can move and make smaller I'd rather put something like that and plus it is so cute it is my latest bathing suit the bottoms are a bit cheeky on the back part because yes there is this kind of stuff so it makes it a bit smaller so I would be comfortable tanning in that, but if you're only going to talk about tanning bottoms, I would probably take um, this one, if I'm only going to tan on, the, on this part of my body because it's very not cheeky at all, but at the end of the day, you know, if you want to do the side of your body, the front part, you can only see the back, it's kind of hard to show you. It's very minimal, minimal. And I also have this one. Usually um, we all have this type of bottoms that you can adjust on the side and they are very, very thin, which is good for tanning. And I think, yeah, like the one I, I showed you before, it's the same brand. That one would be cool because you're actually comfortable because you're not showing too much skin on the bottom parts, but you can tan. And yeah, the tops like that that you can adjust Perfect. Triangle, perfect for tanning. When you're gonna put your underwear in, that's okay. Nobody's gonna see the weird differences between your tan. Because if you're wearing something like that, um, you're gonna have a big line. A big, big line. Same goes if you're wearing that one. A new tan, girl, I'm sorry for you, is gonna be very difficult. Very, very difficult to just 
make it okay <laughs> so what's important is to have one bathing suit that you feel comfortable and pretty in that you like your body in, you like the bathing suit you would be able to just take a picture in it and post it on instagram and for me that's this one so most of them are from banana moon and i buy them during the winter because during the winter they're half their prices so that's pretty good and as i just told you i bought this one this summer it is adorable i love the little details on it and the inside part is yellow come on and the top i i am so ready for the summer to come because the weather is not it right now it's really not it so yeah i'm so so ready yeah there is the same detail on that one i just love when banana moon have this little heart in the middle and actually it is still yellow on the inside one bathing suit that you have to have is a family friendly one um yeah if you go to a beach and there is I'm sorry my dog's moving and there is a lot of parents and a lot of children maybe you're not going to be completely comfortable just showing your body and if you're a girl girl like that's perfect but I'm not always and I don't know sometimes I just don't want to show my entire booty in front of my parents I have the family friendly one and I don't know it looks kind of how can I say it it looks like cloth you know it's pretty to wear and when you're going to a jacuzzi or something like that it's kind of cool it's a bit small on me which i ate about this one but yeah i can't really show you the only problem is don't tan with it don't do this and from the bottom what is the most important is to have non cheeky one for the parents and every single parent that i've seen in this Bikini, it, it sounds very weird saying every parent that I've seen me as if so many people saw me in it But people that I know, every single one of adults that saw me in this that I know, which is okay Like, I don't know, a friend of my mom <laughs> seeing me in it, not creepy old mom Have told me that they like it very much and that it's very cute Pour qui tu fais quoi, book? Qu'est-ce que tu es en train de faire? One type of bathing suit that I invested it in and that I never truly had before I mean, only the ugly one for school is a one piece I never had it before Yes, I'm aware I have shown almost all those bikinis on my all my bikinis type of video I'm sorry Okay, it was inside out, yes But this one, still from Banana Moon I love I just, I adore it I adore it, it's so cute if you're gonna go on a boat day and it's not really sunny so you know you're not gonna tan so you don't wear the smallest bikini ever I think... Why are you moving so much? I think that this type of bathing suit is so good because it can act like a top You don't have to put it up so I don't know there's some pool where you eat afterwards and you cannot if you don't have a t-shirt that's kind of bullshit because for men it's okay but not for women We're not gonna talk about that today you have some places and you're not allowed if you only have a bikini on with that type of bathing suit it is okay so i think we always need one and sometimes we don't feel comfortable going somewhere with a bikini if you're going to go to the pool for example and it's the pool where people go swimming okay not just laying in the water you don't always feel comfortable for example the winter having a bikini so yeah i'm very glad that i have one that i feel beautiful on it that I think is very good and it's not the one that I used to take when I would go swimming with my class when I was younger that may seem kind of weird but let me tell you for the last bikini what I think is important is having an ugly one it's not necessarily ugly okay it does not have to be just like the one bikini that you never wear it's just the random most basic bikini ever I think that Sometimes you're gonna go in the sea, you're gonna go on a hike or something like that and you don't really want to wear a bikini that you like because for example with um, sunscreen sometimes you can put some mark on them you, it can just look very dirty, it happened to some of mine I'm very very sad, I can't take the stain out so I thought that we all have this bathing suit a bikini that you never wear but you know what you need to wear it in some occasions we all need one and for me i think it's pretty okay if i have to choose one to just put when i'm gonna do something that may make me dirty it's this one it, it sounds weird saying it like that but 
yeah, sometimes you don't know if, I don't know, like going to the pool for example is really not good for your bathing suit. So I'd rather put one that I don't really like. But at the end of the day, you're not gonna wear your bathing suit at your house. You wait at the pool, you know, so it's kind of made for it, but it's okay. But for me, it's that one because it's one of my older one. I still love it. I still use it. The top, actually, I use it a lot to tan. As I said earlier, I love these types of top to tan. But yeah, I have to have an ugly one, you know, we all have to. So that is all for today's video. As you can see, I like talking about bathing suits. If you want different ways to just use your bikinis because you want to make it look fresh and not buy a new one let me know i will enjoy to just talk about bikini once more i hope you like this video and i'll see you in another one bye <laughs>